Hi, my name is Dave Hawthorne. I'm a producer for CBS News. I've been here for a long, long time. And um, I uh, picked up my trade going to school. Now, to be honest with you, most of the things I do, I didn't learn in school. I learned out here on the job. But what you should do when you're in college is pay attention to a lot of the general studies. You're going to need a little science and math. Uh, those, those things really help you when you're out here in the field trying to figure out how to make things work. So uh, college is important. Make sure that you uh, study either journalism or some sort of communications. And just believe me, a uh, broad-based liberal arts is also going to help you understand all the things that you'll run into when you're out here in the field. So when I was in school, uh, I went to City College of New York in Harlem. And um, as I said, you need to study you know, a Bachelor of Arts. Uh, get a master's if you need to, but you really don't need to. What you really need to do is get out here in the field. So try to get yourself some internships, get all the experience you can, follow people around, learn, be humble, be smart, work harder than everybody else, show the people that they need you and they can't live without you. You got to make yourself stand out and be special. Uh, that's what I did. I do it every day. Even now that I've grown up and I do this, I try to put a smile on people's faces every day, try to do things that are exciting and innovative that other people haven't thought of. Um, you can be better than everybody, but it also helps to be nicer than everybody. One of the tips you're going to need to get along in this life. Now, one of the best things uh, that I can tell you about this job is that there's no such thing as a normal day at work. I wake up in the bed, you know, I get a phone call, and the next thing you know, I'm hanging out with these guys, reporting on the air as the next president is being inaugurated. Some days I jump on a plane and I'm going to cover a hurricane. I'm going to cover a war. I never know where I'm going. So if you like excitement, it's a little scary sometimes, but I can tell you, there's no such thing as a normal day at work in life and news. So you guys, if you want to do it, be ready for an exciting time, some scary times, some sacrifices. Um, but every once in a while, you'll do a story that's going to change somebody's life. It's really what it's about. It's dedication um, and not a lot of money, but most of the time we have a lot of fun. So uh, study journalism, take it serious, and make a difference in the world. So you get into this business thinking you're going to make a lot of money, and some people make a lot of money, but it's the wrong reason to get into the business. You really want to have some dedication to changing people's lives, telling true stories, illuminating people so that they, they know something or feel like they've been somewhere that they may never go. So those are the benefits that you get out of doing this job. Making money, most people aren't going to make too much money. You might get a starting salary of $20,000, $25,000. Only the real big anchors make millions of dollars, and even not, not uh, something that happens very much anymore. Um, what you will get is an excitement and a thrill of doing new things and waking up in new places and, and uh, just surprising and amazing people every day, and you'll have great stories. Now, doing a job like this has a lot of benefits and a lot of sacrifices. Yes, it's exciting. Yes, I get to go different places. Yes, I see things a lot of people don't see. But it takes a toll on your family. Your family doesn't see you. You're not there. You miss birthday parties. You miss anniversaries. Um, you don't get a lot of sleep. On the other hand, you get a lot of exercise because you're always running. So uh, it does affect your life. Just be ready for the sacrifices. It's not all glitz and glamour, but it does have its benefits. Uh, it's changed my life because I can get up and go at a moment's notice. I'm not afraid to go anywhere. I've been everywhere. I've been from Hong Kong to Somalia to Baghdad to Afghanistan. Cuba, Mexico, you know, the mundane places, but the really cool and scary places, too. So if you like to travel, this is probably the job for you. Family left Blair House to attend a service at St. John's Episcopal Church. This is just a few blocks from the White House. This is a tradition. So remember when I told you that I could wake up any morning anywhere? Well, this morning I woke up, I met the Million Women's March in Washington. See, it's exciting. You never know where you end up, but you get to see the world. And that's a great thing, all right?